On the surface, this channel is a bike packing channel. Probably if you go quite a long way below the surface, in fact, this is a bike packing channel. I go on rides and I talk about those rides. I talk about the trails, I talk about the logistics, I talk about the weather, the landscapes, how it looks, how it smells. I show you where I camp at the end of each day. I tell you about how wet my socks are, how cold my fingers are. Sometimes I talk about gear, and the bags I'm using, the bike I'm riding, you know, bike packing stuff. And it's an approach that seems to be working relatively well. And all you fine folk keep coming back and saying nice things. Subscribers come, subscribers go, numbers rise and fall, but it's generally an upward trend, which, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with. I've always had this idea in my head that it should be somehow more than that. That rather than just being about what I'm doing, it should be about why I'm doing it, what it means. What does bikepacking mean to me? What does bikepacking mean in the context of this wider modern world in which we live? And I don't know, maybe, maybe something of that comes across occasionally in my ramblings. Maybe I'm just being super pretentious. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe this is how everyone feels. Maybe every bikepacker who has a YouTube channel is thinking the same. Maybe we're all struggling to find the words to articulate why we feel so strongly about this amazing thing that we all love. And I've always believed that we have a name for people who are particularly good at finding the words to describe these nebulous, shifting, subjective subjects. These people are poets. And from time to time, I have presented short pieces of poetry on this channel, little snippets that I feel kind of mesh somehow with my experience of bikepacking. And that's what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to do it for two reasons. Firstly, because it's a lovely little piece of word smithery and you know i genuinely believe that bikepacking and poetry do share the same space or they should but also because i'm riding a new bike today it's a Toral u1 it's an e-bike and it was given to me for free to do a review video of but i don't want to do a review video about it um, much as I want free stuff and much as I would love this channel to become, you know, a kind of paying revenue stream for me, I really don't want it to become just a load of adverts for products, especially e-bikes, which is not something I know that much about. So in the end, I said to Toro, thank you very much for the offer. I won't do a video about the bike. I'll take it out for some rides, you know, and I'll, I'll mention it in the context of those rides. And they were cool with that, to their credit. Um, so that's what I'm doing. But then I thought, but wait, this just makes me sound like a sleazy YouTuber trying to slip a cheeky advert in under the radar using the guise of someone who just doesn't want to advertise, man, and I'm above all that sort of stuff. So I figured to really kind of salt the wound I would do this as a poetry of the saddle video, a format which historically performs very badly and always results in a net loss of subscribers. So here we go, in a sort of fit of self-destructive rage and a weird desire to be taken seriously as a, a genuine, deep, philosophical YouTube poet and not a shill for the e-bike industry, I present you with this. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, 
I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things, who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world, and am free. What did you make of that? It's only short. It says a lot with few words, like a good poem should. For me, the title alone makes it worthy for inclusion. The piece of wild things, and that right there is one of the main reasons that I love going out on bike trips. You know, the stats and the planning and the maps and the gear, the adventure, even making these videos, that's all amazing. But there is no, no peace, no freedom, no calm that can compare to sitting still and silent, surrounded by nature. Yeah, this is what I love about bikepacking is that it gets me there. This is why I like riding solo. This is why I love wild camping. This is why I like doing short days and pitching early so that I can just sit and be still amongst nature, find the peace of wild things, a release from all the pressures and strains and stresses of everyday life. You don't find it anywhere else, or I don't anyway. It's, for me, that is, that is a key thing. I mean, I'm not even out on a big ride today, I'm only a few kilometers out of town. And I've been sort of sitting and, and thinking about what I wanted to say in this video. And just sitting on a stone in a nature reserve, listening to the wind. It makes me feel better. I love it. I can feel the energy flows up out of the earth. It flows out of the trees into me, into you, if you want it. I don't know, not everyone would agree, but for me, it's a piece of wild things. It really does wash away some of the worries of the world. And when I wake in the night, worried about what my life has become, quite often, I comfort myself by planning bikepacking trips in my head. Thinking about the taste of a blackberry. Look at that. That was just freestyle. I didn't even plan that. They were just there. The trail provides. That's a really good blackberry as well. Crikey. Going back for more of those. And I'm ending here as well. That's, that's all I wanted to do today really was kind of say hello. Read a poem that I thought was nice that some of you might like. And um, ah, it would have been too good to be true, wouldn't it, if that had worked. Um, yeah, just check in really. I'm heading home now. I'm hungry and blackberries won't suffice. Um, I hope you've enjoyed another waffly one. I'm going to try and get an overnight room for the next one. Now I'm in, back in Sweden, so go and uh, check out some, some of the little wind shelters and things, depending on the, the weather, which is looking ropey in the coming weeks. If you've enjoyed, usual stuff applies. Please like, please subscribe, it really helps. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, there are many ways you can do it, and I'll put links down below in the description. Kofi Etsy, blah, blah, blah. Um, I usually let the names of my regular Kofi supporters run next to my beautiful face as I'm doing my outro, but I think the subject matter of this video being what it is, I'll just let them run over a shot of this amazing little pond. Stunning spot, really, really lovely. If my life was a poem, these people would be the rousing chorus, the part that we all remember and can recite. Thank you all so much, each and every one of you. Your kindness astounds me. I hope that I continue to earn your ongoing support. I hope that I can add a few more names to your happy ranks in the near future. For now though, I'm done with this one. Hey ho and home I go. I'll see you all on the next one, folks.
Bye now.